हेलो गाइस माई सेल्फ अमृता वेलकम बैक टू आवर चैनल टेक्नोसेज सो इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस प्रॉब्लम नंबर टू नाइन फोर टू दैट इज फाइन वर्ड्स कंटेनिंग कैरेक्टर सो लेट्स फर्स्ट अंडरस्टैंड द प्रॉब्लम यू आर गिवन अ जीरो इंडेक्सड एरे ऑफ स्ट्रिंग्स वर्ड्स सो इन एग्जाम्पल यू कैन सी वी हैव बिन गिवन वन एरे दैट इज वर्ड्स एंड अ कैरेक्टर एक्स रिटर्न एन एरे ऑफ इंडेसिस सो वी हैव टू रिटर्न द इंडेक्सेस representing the words that contain the character x so for each word we have to check whether that particular string contains this character if yes we have to return the index of that particular string so then move on to the next word and we have to check whether that particular word contains the character x yes then we have to return the index of that particular string as well so let's understand it with the example so we have one so we have one words array which contains two strings that is lead and code and then we have one character x which is e we have to check whether that particular x character exist in these words so this is a zero index this is our first index so whether lead contains e yes right if yes then we have to store the index of that particular string so that is zero again code contains e yes it contains e and then we have to store the index of that particular string 0 comma 1 so this will be our output right so let's say we have another example let's say it is a b c b a a and c b c and we have character x which is c so this is our index 0 1 2 right so now abc contains c yes so index 0 baa contains c no so we don't have to store the index of this particular word move on to the next word cbc contains c yes so we have to store the index of that particular word 0 comma 2 so this will be our output so basically in our strings array we have to check whether each string contains the character x if yes we have to store the index if no we have to move on to the next word right so now let's write the solution for it so here you can see this is our method in which we have to return the list of integers right so let's write this method so this is our class that is find words containing character let's write the method that would be public static list of integer find words containing character so it will expect two inputs one is string words array and then another is character x right so now take one array list in which we are going to store the result which would be of integer array list of integer let's give the name as result is equal to new array list now let's iterate through the array which would be i is equals to 0 i less than words dot length i plus plus and then for each word we need to check whether that word contains the character x right so if words at i contains contains is a function of strings which check whether that particular word contains the another word so here we have the character x so now this is a character but words is a string so we need to take the string representation of that particular character that would be string dot 
value of. So string dot value of is a function which returns the string representation of a character. If it contains, then we have to add the index of that particular word. Result dot add i, right? And at the end, we have to return result. Correct. So now let's go back to our main function, and our input is words array. which has words lead and code and then we have character x which is character e right let's write a print statement that would be system dot out dot print ln find words containing character words and another input is character right Sorry, it would be x, correct? So now let's run the program and see the output. It should be zero comma one because both the words contains the character x. Okay, so one parenthesis is missing here. So let's put it. Let's run the program again. so the output is 0 comma 1 right so let's take another input which should be a b c let's take a b b and c b a we will check the character c so character c exist in zeroth index and second index so the output should be 0 comma 2 so here you can see the output is 0 comma 2 so this is how we need to solve this problem now let's copy the code and we'll test it in the lead code as well so you can see here it is accepted successfully so this is how we need to solve this problem If you have any questions, any doubts, please let me know in the comment section. I'll mention the Git repo link for the code, and please stay tuned for more such videos. We'll keep on solving more lead code problems. Thank you so much for watching.